I'm Josh with Woodland Mills. And since our introduction of our two different trailer models, we're beginning a lot of questions about the differences between the models and uh, what the applications are for the, the two different uh, boom assemblies, basically. So I just want to start by going over the basics, um, what's the same between them, what's different between them, and why you might choose one over the other. So when we're looking at these trailers, uh, we've got the T-Rex version and the Woodland version. So the T-Rex version and the Woodland version both share the exact same bed. So the bed itself, the box as we call it, um, the tailgates opening, it's all the same. So this bed can be tipped by your boom or it can be rotated back out of the way and it'll actually sit right up at 90 and we could remove the pins at this point and remove it. Um, again, to use it as a logging trailer, they have the spots where the logging racks fit in and the logging racks come with both models. The tires, walking beams, this whole assembly in here is the exact same on both models. The only fundamental part that changes is this front winch um, boom assembly. So as you can see in here, this piece can slide on the main frame and it can be removed. So all we've done is basically removed the T-Rex boom and winch and we put on our new woodland boom and winch assembly, which we've developed with feedback from our customers about how they want to use the trailer, what they're using the trailer for, what they did like about this and what they didn't like about the original design. Um, still, we have a great following with this design because of the ability it has to load objects into your trailer, you know, load heavy objects, help you out around the farm, help you out around the property. Um, but you'll see some of the features and I'll go over some of the features of the new boom and how it works as well. So with this assembly, it gave us the ability to dump the box um, by winch. So by having the boom all the way up, you've got the change to set the height. You use the winch assembly and you could dump your trailer. And with this winch assembly, you can get it up to an angle of 60 degrees without any trouble. So with this, the T-Rex design, you can dump the box. With the new Woodland design, you can also dump the box to similar angle. So the dumping of the box isn't gonna change uh, depending on which model you like. What is gonna change is the boom and the mast. So on the T-Rex design, we have the ability to set our boom. And we can set it low. You want to always set it square by counting your links here at the back. So from this position, I could do a few things. I could get my cable. I could come to the back of the trailer. I could lower my tailgate. And this would let me load things from the back with the help of the winch. I can also use the swing on the boom and I can bring this over to the side of the box. I've got outriggers on this design, which I can bring out for stability. And then if I needed to lift, uh, you know, logs, objects into the trailer and I wanted to use the winch as an aid. So let's take a tool or a piece of equipment I could use this boom and winch assembly to lift it in the air and then load it into the box of the trailer. So 
So depending on your, your needs and what you want this trailer to help you do on your property, this was helpful to some clients, but we had a lot of clients that thought that they would never use this to lift anything into the box and they wanted to be able to use it for, for getting more material into the back of the trailer at different angles. So it's easier to tow stuff up in from the back. And I'll show you how by changing the boom assembly to the new woodland design, we've really made it more for you know forestry, hunting, where you're pulling stuff in from the back, be it logs or game. And we've got a new setup where we can actually set the box itself at different angles so that the tailgate becomes a ramp and helps with getting that material up into the box itself. So I think at this time I'll take this boom assembly off, the T-Rex boom assembly off, and we'll switch it to a Woodlands boom assembly and uh, I'll show you the features of that and how it works and the differences. So we've taken the time now to switch, um, switch over the boom. So we've gone to the, the new Woodland straight boom as opposed to the swivel uh, mass boom. And now I just wanna show you the overall size differences. So if you're trying to get this trailer in through the bush um, with a swivel boom, it was quite high and it also had quite a bit of stuff hanging around. With this one, you'll see it's much simpler. We've basically just got this, we've got compressed to the lowest height uh, still have a winch on it for doing the, the dumping of the trailer and I'll show you how that works but you can see getting it through places getting it under branches trees through trails this is going to be a little easier to get out there the trailer uh, box itself is identical the frames identical it still does the exact same stuff it used to so I'll show you how this one still dumps so you can compare that. So again, the cable, the cable here runs over the pulleys and down and hooks on the box. Uh, depending on what height you have this at, it's going to change how steep you can dump this. So right now, this is the lowest position. It's going to let you dump at the least of a dump angle. But as you go up, you're going to change the height of it that you can basically pull it to and you're going to change your dump angle because of the configuration of this so when we're using the mast we have a limitation on how much weight we can push down at the end of the mast because there's quite a bit of cantilever there with this straight boom we have a lot more straight pulling force and this boom is designed to rotate uh, to take up any angle so we're always pulling straight as we go so with this with this winch, we're gonna be able to dump the entire uh, weight capacity of the trailer. Whereas with the swivel point and the extra piece, you're gonna be limiting your weight in the trailer, um, probably a thousand pounds to dump as opposed to the 2000 pound capacity. So if you're doing a lot of heavy dumping um, of material, gravels, topsoils, stuff that you're gonna be putting in here, uh, and piling in here, this is better for straight dumping. It's going to give you more force in a straight line and you have less of the cantilever effect with the uh, swivel boom. So with this, if I start to winch this in, we're going to see the action here. And what I'll do is I'll take it right up and show you where it goes and how the boom starts to swing down to meet the trailer and let's just get that angle and keep the force right where we want it. So you see the dump angle I've achieved. I have one more notch I can go here to get the boom even further out to get my dump angle even steeper. Um, this, as you can see from the look of it, is steep enough to get rid of your gravels, your topsoils, that kind of thing, your firewood, everything's gonna pile out at this angle. But if you didn't need it steeper for any reason, you could use this to get it steeper by making this taller. So when we come back down now, this is gonna be the next feature of this trailer. And let us catch right there. Now what this lets us do is we've locked this on an angle. I can take my cable off now and I can go to the back um, here, 
wind my cable out. I can drop my tailgate. And now with the bed on an angle and the tailgate as a ramp, I can actually bring material using my winch and boom. So what I've created here is a triangle. So now if I pull the full force of my winch, which is 2,500 pounds, I can tow that log or that game up into the trailer on the angle. And the force on the boom now, because it's a straight boom and we've got it linked in here, it basically creates a triangle of strength and this boom can tow that full 2,000 pounds up in. Uh, what you're towing may not be the full 2,000 pounds, but the friction on the ground, it's going to let you apply a lot more force with the winch to get your material up into the bed. So with this setup, with this configuration, now we can use the full force of the winch and use more of the capacity of the trailer. With the swivel boom, we're limited in what we can pull on because the swivel boom is really capped at about 400 to 450 pounds of lifting. Whereas now we've got the full ability to pull that 2000 pounds up into the trailer in the form of a log game, you know, whatever else we want to get in here. So to get this to unlatch so we can put it back down. So you'd pull your material up into the bed um, using the winch lead. Now you take your winch lead off the material. You put your winch back in here. Up. The boom pops out of the way. And now you lower yourself down. So now we could have just loaded logs uh, for firewood, logs for the sawmill. And we have that weight now distributed in the trailer. We've brought it up in using the winch and the boom. If we're going to get back through the forest and we got branches everywhere, we can now drop our boom, keep it out of the way. The other thing the Woodlands boom does is it drops the tongue weight, drops the weight of the trailer. Uh, it, again, it makes it so it's lower. There's left stuff hanging around. It doesn't widen the trailer at any point. Uh, it doesn't have any of the catch points with the um, outriggers. So it just makes it more streamlined. Again, the front tailgate comes off as well. So we could have the rear tailgate down, the front tailgate off, and we could bring logs in a little further up. There is still quite a bit of play in the trailer length, so you can adjust that and set the bed at the front or the back. Um, if you're just doing strictly logging, you could still use the boom uh, to pull your logs up with the log racks, and uh, we can talk about that in another video.